New at 5, the machine that measures whether drivers are drunk being challenged by defense attorneys, potentially in limbo, dozens of cases, including the one against former Congressman Tim Mahoney. Defense lawyers have challenged the accuracy of the breathalyzer machines before. That's right. TBS 12's Chuck Weber joining us live to show us the basis for this new legal salvo. Chuck? Suzanne, the past challenges were all unsuccessful. They focused on the accuracy of the machines. This time around, the lawyers say they've discovered the breath machines have been altered and do not comply with state law. Once you remove that plate hiding the alteration, a tiny hole is revealed in the valve system of the breathalyzer machines used to determine if someone is driving drunk. Jupiter attorney Brian Gabriel has the pictures, and he and other lawyers are now challenging the legality of the breath machine results in dozens of local DUI cases. Everybody should have the right to know that when they submit to a test required by law, that it is a required approved test. Gabriel says he recently learned the breathalyzer machines had been altered from a former state employee. The tiny hole enables the machines to register more accurate readings. They took that hole that they drilled in that valve, put a plate on it to cover it, and never mentioned a word about it ever for six years. State approval of the breathalyzer is required by law, but Gabriel says the state approved the machine in its unaltered form. The machine in use now is not legal, says Gabriel. The technicalities of DUI law have been put there for the safety and protection of the public to ensure scientifically reliable and accurate results. Gabriel is challenging breathalyzer results for a dozen of his clients. The defense attorney fighting the DUI charge against former Congressman Tim Mahoney is also mounting a similar challenge. Now, Mahoney there was supposed to go on trial in the next few weeks, but there's a question now if that will happen. In the past, county court judges sat as one large panel to hear the breathalyzer challenges and then make one ruling for all the affected cases. No word yet on whether that will happen again this time. Suzanne? 